Hi everyone, this is Jeff from Greenlight Total Entertainment, and today's the day. Today's the day where we finally see a movie that uh, I've been waiting for over a year, and that's Spider-Man uh, No Way Home. And today I, I'm very excited to see this movie. I mean, I, I have very high expectations for this movie. Um, not just because the, the rumors that are speculating out there on the internet, but just because um, the, the possibilities that they can do with this film. The one thing I'm, I'm looking for um, from this movie is something that uh, um, we haven't really gotten yet in the previous two movies. We didn't really get, like, for me, it, it, the movies have been good. Both of them have been fantastic and very entertaining, and the stories have been great, but it's missing one thing. It's missing, like, it's not a complete Spider-Man movie. And what I mean by that is it, it's just missing elements, elements of... Uh, you know, more emotional, some tragedy, um, you know, s sacrifice, uh, you know, basically giving up something in order to be Spider-Man. So, um, other than that, the movies have been great. I mean, I, I, I love Ned. I think that's a dynamic, uh, relationship with them, uh, them two, knowing what, knowing who Ned is and, um, from the comics and, uh, this film, you know, I feel like anything can happen. And I, I think that's a cool thing. But the most important thing I, I want to see this this movie is, is just have a great story and show Spider Man as as complete as as possible. And and um, you know we'll see. I'm gonna be driving down to the movie theater right now, and I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. And I see you there. Sounds great. Just came back from watching uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, and I have to say, the movie was fantastic. It met all my expectations, even more. Um, it was exactly what I was looking for, for this movie. Um, what can I say about this movie? Oh my gosh. The storyline was fantastic. Like it, it was heartfelt. You felt the emotion. Um, this is the most complete Spider-Man um, movie from the MCU. All the rumors that was going on. To tell you the truth, if they are in a movie or if they're not, it doesn't really matter. That's how good this movie is. I mean, this this movie is is uh, is so compelling. The story is is, is so good. Uh, it's very heartfelt. Um, Everything that you you will want in a Spider Man movie, this is this is it. Um, you know the, the the quirkiness, the intelligence, showing uh, Spider Man using his intelligence to get out of certain situations. Um, the emotion, that the the, the heart um, of Spider Man was shown in this movie. 
the self, the selfishness. Um, a Spider Man was shown in this movie. I mean, this movie was, was what I was hoping it would be. Um, I was kind of worried with all the characters in it. It may be a little bit too overcrowded, and um, some people may not get the the story arc that they need. But those individuals in this movie, they did. Um, I gotta say. Willem Dafoe is fantastic as Goblin. He it seems like he just really feels like he did not miss a beat. Um, Jamie Fox did f fantastic. They redeemed him. Melina, I mean, he's a great actor, so you definitely know he, he brought his A game. So, but, but I was very impressed that these guys, even though they haven't played played these characters in a very long time, they they actually did a better job. Um, I did. I mean, um, that's how I feel. Like they did a better job um, bringing back the characters and showing more depth of the characters. So, definitely a great movie. Definitely check it out. Uh, check out our uh, spoil review when we come out. Um, as for right now, you can um, watch Alan and Carson and their review. See how they like the movie. But for now, for for now, uh, this is Jeff signing off, and thank you for um, coming with the ride. Take care. All right, so I just left the movie theater. Just saw Spider-Man. And, um, yeah. That was the craziest, most epic, perfect Spider-Man movie you could have. Um, it had everything. It had everything from emotion to action to adventure. It was perfect. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I still processing everything. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, everything's still running through my head right now. I got to go see it again. I don't want to review anything until I see it again. But this movie, my God, if you haven't seen it yet, when you see it, let me tell you, you are going to love it. If you ever go see a movie and you have high expectations for it, and then you go and see the movie and it doesn't meet those expectations, um, this is not that movie. So yeah, I'm gonna be back on. I'm gonna go see it again, probably this weekend. Um, and then me and the other boys will talk about it, break it down, say what we like about it, what we don't like about it. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have anything that I didn't like about it. Um, but a lot of things to talk about. Um, this is Greenlight Entertainment. And yeah, we'll be back. So I'm going to do my initial reaction, non-spoiler review to uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm going to say it's definitely the best Spider-Man movie I've ever seen next to Enter the Spider-Verse. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say there was a lot of... Uh, fan service, but it was a great movie. I can honestly say I'm, I wasn't disappointed. Um, everything I wanted to see, everything I needed to see from this movie, the way stuff was sewn together and woven into like this perfect quilt of a story. I think the acting was great. I think the relationships were great. Um, just from what we've seen uh, from this Marvel, Sony, you know, MCU relationship, um, you know, they've put out a good product. Uh, Homecoming, great. Far From Home, great. But this one, I mean... This is the best out of all the Spider-Man movies. So it's like if if I had to pick live action ranking, I would say this one would be number one. And it would probably be a tie between Homecoming and Spider-Man 2. Um, but just wow. Um, cinematography wise, it was great. I actually saw it in 3D. I do recommend 
uh, you know, even if you don't normally see movies in 3D, definitely recommend watching this one in 3D. It's, it's worth it. I like the screen time uh, a lot of people got. You know, normally in a Spider-Man movie, it's just Spider-Man and, you know, not everybody else gets a lot of screen time. But this movie was different. It was different like that. Like, the other characters in the movie got plenty of screen time. I think there were some awesome redemption arcs. I'm always good for a good, you know, redemption story. I think um, a lot of wrongs were made right in this movie. You know, a lot of uh, homage paid to um, Spider-Man and the Spider-Man story as we know it. Um, a lot of weird questions that people have had over the years. I feel like they even took the time to answer those. Um, I think the sound effects were good. I think the special effects were great. Um, the stuff that had to be CGI, you know, the CGI, they did a good job with that. It, it didn't look, you know, hokey. I really liked Benedict Cumberpatch in this movie. He uh, he stepped in being that guy that, um, you know, we were used to seeing uh, Iron Man be uh, in the movie. So it was nice, you know, to see that that role being filled by somebody else. So I'm, I'm generally, you know, actually pretty well satisfied with my first viewing of the movie. Now, I am going to go see it again because I want to do a more in-depth analysis of this because when I do my spoiler um, review, I really want to get into the, the nitty-gritty um, and how you know I feel they did storyline-wise because I'm just, I'm just amazed at how much they were actually able to get into this. Now, there's two end credit scenes. Um, both of them. Both of them are great, but in their own way. Um, and I highly, highly recommend if uh, you went and saw this movie and didn't stay for end credit scenes that you go back, watch the movie again, and watch those end credit scenes because it's, it's, a, it's a necessity. So this is uh, Alan, and this is my non-spoiler review of... Uh, Spider-Man, No Way Home, easily number one live action Spider-Man movie that we've ever seen. Just 10 out of 10. You know, go see it. Go see it. All right, I'm out. Thank you, Alan Carson, for your first initial thoughts of Spider-Man, No Way Home. And thank you for watching our, our first ever video. Uh, this channel is basically going to be like a, basically a hobby for us. We love movies, we love TV shows, we like to talk about it all the time. So we figured we thought, make something that we like to do and you know discuss it and share it with you guys. So uh, we're going to be doing you know TV show reviews, movie reviews, talking about the news, what's going on in the entertainment business, and, and so much more. So again, my name is Jeff. Thank you so much for watching our video. And thank you for watching Greenlight Total Entertainment. Take care, be safe out there, and happy holidays.